The Porsche Cayman S follows a simple recipe for concocting driving pleasure. A communicable chassis mixed with exceptional reflexes and a dose of horsepower. It's the car from which the new 2012 Porsche Cayman R sprang, which is a remarkable specimen in its own right. And we're happy to report our 2009 Best Driver's Car Champion has gone hardcore with a capital R. Like the Cayman S we tested two years back, the Cayman R we ran came equipped with a 7-speed PDK. Saying this $3,660 twin-clutch beauty changes gear quickly does it little justice. Each upshift resounds with a distinct pop that only a twin-clutch can provide. Even the most partisan three-pedal devotees with their power shifting and clutch sidesteps will find it hard not to be impressed. It's smart too. Left to its own devices and software logic, the auto works really well, holding the gear in corners and shifting with impeccable timing. But of course, you'll want to play with the PDK's steering wheel mounted push button controls and sample improved dynamics. As you know, the Cayman R focuses on weight reduction. Porsche didn't just loosen the S's collar, but got it to strip down. At 3,083 pounds wet, the Cayman R is 93 pounds lighter than the S we tested, thanks to the removal of several key components. With 330 horsepower bristling from the 3.4 liter flat 6 mounted amidships, the Cayman R possesses 10 additional horses over the S, thanks to a freer flowing exhaust setup and unique engine tuning. Torque holds the line at 273 pound feet. Although 10 ponies may not seem like much, the R will launch control itself from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, 2 tenths of a second quicker than the S. The head start pays off in the quarter mile. The R achieves a 12.7 second run with a trap speed of 111 miles per hour flat. The test numbers are tight on braking and handling as well. We discovered the S was shorter from 60 to 0 miles per hour. 103 feet versus the R's 108 feet. But rest assured, both stopping distances are quite good, and the 5 foot delta could come down to tire differences. Bridgestone Potenza RE050As on the R, and Michelin Pilot Sport on the S. Lateral grip measured basically identical. The R produced an average of 1.01 G to the S's 1.0 G. Both Caymans finished the figure 8 in 24.5 seconds, which is on par with the Ferrari Enzo. As recorded, the differences are all small, and in some cases, nearly negligible. At their most basic levels, the base R commands a $4,200 premium over a base S. So is it worth it? That depends. The Cayman R is louder, the simply adorned cabin gets hotter more easily, and the ride will beat you up on harsh pavement and lengthy distances, which is a consequence of the higher spring rates and shocks with firmer damping. Strictly by the numbers, it presents a tough sell. But after you drop into the superbly bolstered seat and click the three-point seat belt into place, all answers will be found. The Sport and Sport Plus buttons manipulate throttle response and PDK behavior to perfection. The entire car works as one ingenious unit as you feel the front wheels bite through the hydraulically assisted steering while deciphering the back end via the seat of your pants. The rear begins to come around, you goose the throttle a little bit, and the mechanically locking rear differential does its job as you briskly negotiate the car to your destination. No fuss, no drama, just a lot more exhaust noise. We definitely need more cars like these.